everybody it is Tegan here again today and for this video I thought I would do a little bit of a story time video of something that I haven't really talked about at all on this channel and it's one of the like best things that has ever happened to me and I thought I would explain it and share with you guys one of the best days of my life so I'm gonna be telling you guys the story of how I met Sean Mendez and Troy Sivan both in the span of about a minute of each other <laughs> and yeah so if you want to hear about that keep watching so basically back in November Sean had a concert in Australia and the concert was on November 29th and I obviously went to it because I love Sean so much uh, he's got one of the best voices ever he's one of the best singers I love him to absolute pieces and so obviously I went to his concert and I really wanted to meet him and I had some friends that were at his hotel and two days before the show I had some friends that were at the hotel who had met him outside of his hotel and I couldn't go that day because I had work and so I ended up going the following day so the day before the concert I went to his hotel I met up with a few friends and we basically just sat outside the hotel and I know it may seem a bit stalkerish or whatever but I mean it kind of is <laughs> but he was meeting people outside of his hotel and there was a bunch of other people there as well and we weren't actually on hotel property we were off the property just around the hotel and I met some friends there too I met some absolutely incredible people who I love and yeah we just basically sat and talked all day and I got there about 8 39 I believe to the hotel and I was there until around 11 30 at night I did not leave we were there uh, the only reasons we left was to get food or go to the bathroom or get something to drink those are the only reasons that we left we just sat there Sean didn't end up coming out and I'm not gonna get too into it but basically one of the big reasons why he didn't come out was because a few girls had been following him around all day and he was really annoyed and didn't want to come out and obviously I would never follow somebody around and stalk them to the point where they're so annoyed that they just want to sit in their room. I would never do that. And it was absolutely awful of these girls. And they went to his gym. They followed him around to where he was eating. It just wasn't good of them to do. And yeah. So he didn't end up coming out, unfortunately. And I'm there's more to that story, but I'm not going to go too into that because I don't want to bring too much drama into this video. So yes, he did not come out on the 28th. The show was on the 29th and I live on the Gold Coast. The show was in Brisbane, his hotel was in Brisbane and I live on the Gold Coast which is about an hour away. And I had some friends who live in Brisbane who went back to his hotel on the morning of the show and were able to meet him. And I... <laughs> Basically all of the friends that I had met the day before met him and I didn't and I was I was so happy for them that they had had the chance to meet him but I was honestly so upset because I had waited outside the hotel for like 12 hours 13 hours and didn't meet him and I was honestly really upset I, like I was happy for them but I would have absolutely loved to have met him but I didn't because I couldn't get up to Brisbane in time for to meet him that morning so I went up to Brisbane went into the show show is absolutely incredible about halfway through the show my friend Marcella who I was going to the show with because basically what ended up happening was I had bought tickets for me and my friend Lucy and Haley and my friend Chelsea who lives in Sydney because she was planning on flying in 
to the show. She was planning on flying into Brisbane for the show from Sydney to go to the show, but she didn't end up being able to come, and so I sold the ticket to Marcella instead, which I'm so happy I did because she came, we had the absolute time of our lives, and about halfway through the show I realized, or in between like the opening and Sean, so in between Julia Michaels and Sean, I realized I would have to leave the show early in order to get home, um, because the last train was earlier than I had thought, and so she offered me to be able to stay at her house, and I was like, yes, I will stay it'll be awesome and we decided that we would go back to Sean's hotel the next morning just in case we didn't think anything would happen we knew that Sean was flying out that day so we knew that he would have to come out but we weren't sure if he was going to come out the front door or not and so we I stayed at Marcella's house the n night after the concert and we ended up going to the hotel the next morning and we got there fairly early we got there about seven in the morning or so. There weren't as many people there um, this day. There was quite a few people on the day that we, the first day that we had waited there, but there wasn't as many people on this day that we were there. And we waited for a few hours, nobody showed up. <laughs> Two girls that had stayed in the hotel that night, they had had a room in the hotel that night, they came out and said that they had seen Troy in the lobby of the hotel and that he had come out and was walking around the city and me and Marcella were like what the hell because Troy wasn't even meant to be in Australia at this point guys he, <laughs> he wasn't even meant to be in Australia he was meant to be in LA where he lives nobody had any idea whatsoever that he was even in Australia and so we were freaking out. If you've ever watched one of my videos before, you would know Troy is my favorite person in the entire world. I love him to absolute pieces. I would do anything for this boy. I have grown up with him. I've been watching him for seven years. He is my child. He's my favorite person ever. And I've grown up with him and I love him to absolute pieces, but I had never met him before. And when I heard that Troy was there, I flipped out. I did not know what to do. I was like, oh my god. And Mars and I started being like, what do we do? Like, do we stay here? Do we go and try and find him in the city? Like, what do we do? And Troy had posted this photo on Twitter of a him in a restaurant and we were like, we may as well go into the city see if we can find where this is because I I would have hated myself if I knew Troy was in the city where I was and I hadn't have found him and I hadn't have met him. I would have hated myself. And Mars had met Troy before and so I just, and Troy is also one of Mars's favorite people. So it was kind of just like, we have to at least take this chance. And so we ended up going to the city. I asked one of my other friends who stayed at the hotel to message me if anything happened with Sean, if Sean was going to be coming out. I asked her to message me and we went into the city and we were looking around. We went to the few places where we thought that that photo may have been taken and he wasn't there. And so we but we were still like walking around looking around and my friend messaged me and was like Tegan uh Sean's security guard is out here he's telling us to line up you guys have to get back now Marcella and I sprinted back to the hotel we ran back to the hotel because we were not like the reason why we were there was so that we could meet Sean we were not going to miss out on meeting Sean and we ran back, everybody was in a line, we got back into our place in line, and we were all freaking out because we knew that Sean was about to come out because the security guard told us that, um, to hold us to get into a line so that Sean could come out and he would come down and take a photo with us all, and, <laughs> oh my god, you guys. <laughs> so, this is where it gets, oh my god, as Sean walks around the front of the line, right, at pretty much the exact same second that Sean walks around the front of the line, Troy and Jacob, Jacob is Troy's boyfriend, 
they walk around the, the end of the line at pretty much the exact same second. So I see Sean walking around the corner and I hear somebody gasp at the back of the line. I turn around and Troy and Jacob are standing there. I did not... I... I didn't even think about it. I sprinted to the back of the line because one, I knew that I would still get to meet Sean because there was a line of people and if I went back to the back to meet Troy, I would still get to meet Sean at the end. And two, I was not missing out on this chance to meet Troy. He he has brought so much into my life and I was not missing out on this chance to meet him. So I sprinted to the back of the line, but I went to Jacob first because Troy was taking photos with people already, and I went up to him and asked him if I could have a photo, and, well, I went up to him and I said hi and everything, and he was so sweet, one of the sweetest people, and I asked him if I could have a photo, and he took my phone and took a photo, but um, before we took the photo, he the phone was on video on accident and it's so I got this like video and it's oh my god his laugh his laugh in this video is the cutest thing I have ever heard and I will enter that video in here and as you can see in the video he's like leaning down in front of me because he's like so tall and like I'm tall but he's so tall and he is honestly one of the sweetest people he is a absolute sweetheart I oh. obviously I knew that like Troy and stuff were like really sweet because I've been watching Troy on YouTube for years but just knowing that he found somebody that as amazing as Jacob just made my heart so happy and yeah after that I went over to Troy and I gave him a hug and I told him thank you so much for everything that you've done for me I told him I've been watching him for seven or eight years and I've grown up with him and he's helped me through so much and just being able to meet him and tell him that was a dream come true and he <laughs> He, he was like, thank you so much. Uh, hearing that makes me so happy. Oh my god, I'm gonna start tearing up now even just talking about it. He was so sweet. He was just saying thank you so much for supporting me and following me for all of these years. And he told me that it was so nice to meet me. And then we got a photo. And then he gave me another hug. And him and Jacob were sort of rushing off. Um because turns out they were in Australia for Troy's friend's wedding um, but nobody knew that he was in Australia <laughs> but yet that's why they were there and so they had to they were rushing off but every time like one of them would be like okay we have to go uh, somebody would get stopped for a photo and they were just so sweet and taking photos with everybody as soon as I finished talking to Troy literally the second that Troy turned away to talk to somebody else I broke down and started sobbing I was not coping very well and Jacob turned around and he saw me crying and he pulls me in to the biggest hug and he's just like it's okay you're all right you don't like there's no need to cry like you're okay I've got you and hugged me for like 30 seconds and just reassured me that I was okay and that was just one of the best things that somebody has ever done it was just he was just so sweet and just the fact that he did that was like he didn't have to do that he could have seen me crying and just looked the other way but he was so incredibly sweet about it they turned to walk away and saw Sean and their reunion was like, they, they saw each other and they went in and hugged and it was the best thing ever, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> they, they, like, because they didn't know that each other were there. And so they just went in and hugged each other and, it, oh, it was great. And then Sean came down the line and I got a photo with him and he took my phone and took the photo. And he was honestly so sweet. I only really spent like 10 seconds with him because he was just moving down the line because he had to get to the airport to catch his flight. And so as you can see in the photo, my face is very red because I had just met Troy and I had 
been crying over meeting Troy um <laughs> so that's why my face looks really red in my photo with Sean but yeah and then Sean finished up the line and drove off and yeah as soon as everybody left I broke down you guys I was calling friends I called my mom I was sobbing for like 30 minutes after all of that happened because I could not believe that I had just met my absolute everything honestly like he Troy changed my life and Sean is so incredible and just the fact that I met both of them in the span of literally like two minutes to each other was so insane and I was literally the day where I waited all day at his hotel at Sean's hotel I was wearing a blue neighborhood shirt I was wearing a Troy Savon shirt and then I ended up meeting him two days later and it was just so insane and I'm so thankful. It was one of the best moments of my entire life and I still can't believe that that even happened. It was just so insane. And even just thinking about it now, it's like, oh my god, I met Troy and Sean and Jacob and they were all so sweet. and. I didn't really get the chance to talk to Sean, but he was so sweet walking down the line taking photos with all of us, and Troy was one of the sweetest people ever, and he just, like, you meet, you watch people online, and you see what they're kind of like, and you get the feel of what they're like but you only see a small part of their lives and like Troy used to do YouTube videos he used to film YouTube videos and so I knew who he was from that and now he's moved on to music and I know what he's like from his YouTube videos and I've seen him live and what he's like from interviews and videos and all of this sort of stuff and I know that part of him but just finding out that one of your favorite people is just as sweet and thankful and absolutely incredible as you've I've always thought them to be is just one of the best feelings in the entire world and I am so thankful that I even got the opportunity to meet them both and it was something that I never in a million years would have thought to happen but it did and I just am so thankful and it was one of the best days of my entire life. But yes, that that is the story of how I met Sean Mendez and Troy Savon on the same day. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed talking about it. I always enjoy fangirling and talking about things that have happened to me that are incredible. If you'd like to see more story time videos like this, let me know down in the comments because I would definitely be willing to film more of these. I loved making this one so I would definitely be happy to do more and I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you can leave a comment down below and let me know if you've ever met Sean or Troy and what your experiences were with them. I'd absolutely love to know and you can give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I would really appreciate that. And you can subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one here or any of the other multiple different types of videos that I film on this channel. And yeah, that's going to be about it for this video today. I'm Tegan and I will see you guys next time. Bye!